um, I grew up with uh, people on the Munster Fire Department. Uh, my adopted uncle was a fire chief at Munster at the time. Um, grew up with him, watching everything that he did. Um, fell in love with the fire service, which hand in hand goes with emergency medical services. Um, just wanted to do and follow in his footsteps and uh, the brotherhood and the camaraderie of uh, the fire service compelled me to uh, do what I'm doing, the, like I said, 27 years now. I've always um, been a people person. I've always wanted to help um, anybody that was in need of help. I decided to enter the healthcare field because I've always been passionate about um, giving care and emphasizing collaborative care for the whole well-being of a patient. I've always had a thing for helping people, um, making sure they're getting the best health care services that they need. Um, I just love helping people. Uh, back after college, when I moved back home, I joined a volunteer fire department, and I enjoyed doing it volunteer so much that I decided to make it a career. I entered the healthcare field because I have this drive to help people, and I thought that's one of the best ways to do it. Healthcare is the family business for me, and um, my brothers and I actually grew up being, my mom took call for her hospital, and we, when she got called in, we'd go with her, because that's what you did back then, and we'd sit in waiting rooms. Uh, my mom uh, worked in ultrasound, so we would sit in the reading room with the physicians, and um, just the overall sense of doing good for your community, and um, you know, we, we take care of humans, we say. Um, I always was looking for something that I could help people, and I love the sciences, so it was kind of a perfect fit. Pharmacy was perfect with all the chemistry and biology, and an uh, opportunity to help people. Um, I love working with the community. I love helping people. Um, there's a great need in the community for not only health care, but mental health, um, financial health, things like that. Originally, I was actually an engineering student, um, but I kind of changed careers. Um, you know, I noticed through various volunteering opportunities and some shadowing experiences at our local children's hospital um, that, you know, I really liked having that patient care interaction and I liked building a therapeutic relationship with patients and families. I've always thought I'd end up in healthcare. When I was young I wanted to be a doctor um, and then I went to college at Valparaiso University and I still wanted to be in healthcare but I realized treating patients was not the right fit for me um, so I switched to healthcare administration and I just enjoy healthcare because I think it's important everybody needs it at some point in their life and it's really important to have reliable organizations out there. So I originally got into to healthcare because anatomy fascinated me, fascinated me since um, I was young. Um, I wanted to go in to be a doctor, but unfortunately I didn't want to go through all the years ex experience. And so the next best thing was to be a surgical tech. Um, my, actually my mom is a pharmacist and so I grew up around healthcare. I grew up at a different time, I guess, and I was allowed to be in the pharmacy with her. Um, so kind of that experience really drove me into the healthcare field and as um, I went to pharmacy school I really found that there was um, a lot of need in a lot of different places in pharmacy and the traditional view of it that I saw growing up was just a portion of the pharmacy field so um, I continued on with pharmacy and kind of focused more on like medication safety and things of that nature. Um, I've always wanted to be in healthcare field. I just slowly built my way up. I was a CNA for the longest time. I was going to school for nursing and I decided it just seemed like all paperwork. I'm a more of a hands-on person. So I started researching different things and when I came to surgical tech, I was like, oh, I could definitely do that job. Uh, for me, it was all about making a difference, uh, forever changing job, uh, meeting new people, best job in the world. The patients were all very scared. They're more scared than we were because we kind of understand infection control. We're used to having isolation gowns on and masks, and so it wasn't anything unusual for us. But it was very scary for other people that weren't used to that. So it was nice that I could make them feel comfortable and let them know that they were safe. 
So COVID has been very tricky for us as healthcare professionals this, this year. Um, we've been able to stay open to provide eye care emergencies for patients that would have been going to the ER for care. So that's kind of opened up and taken a little bit of strain off of those other providers that were working um, through the pandemic. Our waiting rooms aren't as crowded as, anymore because we had them wait in their car and they can text us from their car to get checked in. And we have telehealth visits now, so they're rarely in the office like that. So in regards to taking care of patients during the pandemic, um, I would definitely say um, that liver and kidney evaluations were important, um, being well-versed in liver and kidney scans because a lot of people who um, developed COVID-19, especially in the beginning, were um, having kidney failure, a lot of liver problems. So we did go into a lot of intubated isolation rooms doing patients with um, kidney ultrasounds and liver ultrasounds. We had to evolve very quickly. There are things that we had talked, like telehealth we've talked about doing for a long time. Um, and that probably would have taken us six months to a year to implement. We had to do it overnight. So it made us progress very fast in ways we haven't done in the past. You realize how important being an x-ray tech was. You were I got the front lines, you were taking chest x-rays on patients, you were very much like the first go-to um, imaging modality to go to. So it was very nice to be considered an essential worker. Um, I think when COVID first came, it was so scary. Um, nobody really knew what it was. We didn't know how bad it was gonna be and so um, just trying to adjust to the different things, wearing a mask all the time, um, not being able to go around with people, not having to stay six feet apart was an adjustment. Um, so that was really hard, I think, on everybody. And eventually we kind of got used to that and we're starting to kind of roll with it. And as things are getting better, we can, we, it's like there's some kind of excitement that's coming with it. For a lot of patients, this has been really a time of uncertainty. Um, we've been more depressed. Um, and so kind of, you know, actively saying like, hey, how are you coping with quarantine? How are we feeling about some of these issues? And if we're not feeling so great, um, you know, talking about counseling, kind of teasing through some of those things, you know, what's going on in life. And then do we need, you know, extra help? How can we get um, people the help that they need? Well, my role in the pandemic was, um, I, I continued to do my typical job, but um, a lot of our COVID patients needed some life-saving lines, um, IV lines, and then special catheters needed for dialysis. Um, patients go on dialysis when their kidneys aren't functioning properly. So my, my role was to put these lines in these patients. Um, and we saw in, um, a tenfold increase in the number of lines that we typically put in. When that family wasn't able to visit with their, with their patient, when the patient didn't have their families with them, um, I was that communication piece. So we held up iPads for their family so that they could communicate. Uh, we set up conference calls with physicians through um, Zoom or the iPads or whatever. Um, families could call in and I could go check on that patient for them. I think a lot of um, teamwork occurred during the pandemic because health centers and health departments and federal government was all trying to figure out how to make sure that we were all being as fast as possible. So we were borrowing a lot of information and learning from each other to move forward in the best way possible. Um, so really coordinating that and getting that rolled out on a um, North Shore basis so that we could take best practices of what people had learned and really apply those to our, our patients and our staff. And then also, you know, just fear of the unknown. Every outpatient that we did, a lot of people didn't show up, but every outpatient that came in was a potential exposure. So just being careful around those who came in for their outpatient exams or their special procedures, you know, just taking care of all the precautions initially when everybody was scared of what was going on. Um, I just think that it's great that the community can come together and it's, I'm very proud to be a part of that. Um, the pandemic has been difficult um, on everyone. And um, with a lot of lives that have been lost, it's my pleasure to get back to the community. It's always something different every day. I mean, you don't sit in an office nine to five. We work eight to eight, 24 hours, and you never know what's gonna come next. Well, I love the different variety of surgeries. 
that I'm involved in. Um, one day I can scrub in hearts, next day I can scrub in Da Vinci's, which is the robot. Um, spines, totals, general cases. I love most about working for North Shore and being an optometrist here is that we have a collaborative team with all specialties, so I'm able to really treat the whole patient and not just a small little portion of their health. I love um, working at North Shore specifically because we are able to help people all the way from no insurance to the best insurance, so we really don't turn away anyone from getting the care they need. I get to go home after shifts and, uh, and, and know that I did something and changed something and made a difference for, for people. It's perfect here at North Shore because they come in from our doctors and um, but still have some questions when we're actually filling the medication. So it's a nice opportunity to be able to have time to talk to them. Um, especially here at North Shore, I worked in a big chain. Didn't have quite that opportunity that I have here. So um, it's really, that's my favorite part, talking to people. I love interacting with patients. I love to hear their stories and learn about their families, um, being able to assist them in anything that they might need at North Shore. I, I try to form a bond with whoever it is that I am working with at the moment, so patients or employees or whatever, and I feel like we feed off of each other with that. I'm so lucky that I get to provide such great care to all of my patients. I'm so lucky to have my team members, um, my nurses, um, our care coordinator is so excellent. Um, so if you do choose to be, you know, um, pursue a um, healthcare as part of your career, you know, I'm all, all for it. You're going to love it. And just, you know, remember you, you are part of a team. Every day when you come here, it's going to be something different. You're always having different surgeries, different surgeons are different. Um, you can go from something simple to an emergency all of a sudden and rushing around trying to save someone's life. I think at the end of the day, everything that we do here trickles down to the community. It trickles down to individual patients and I think that's important. Working in nonprofit healthcare is also a little bit special to me. It's special to a lot of people that work here. Um, we're helping patients that either would go without without us or would get some car care, go to the ER. And so I think knowing even the little stuff I do day to day hopefully matters to somebody. Um, it keeps me on my toes. I think that it's the, the piece of my job that really keeps me Motivated is the patients and the people that we serve. Um, so our patients have a lot of unique needs. Um, all patients have unique needs. And how do we make this large healthcare system really work for each individual patient? Um, and figuring out how to make sure we're giving everyone, both our staff and our patients, the tools to get to the best healthcare outcomes that we can. What keeps me here are, are the patients. Um, whenever I'm having a bad day or a rough day, I walk around and talk to patients. And um, something that's always resonated with me is no matter how bad you've got it, somebody's got it worse. And it is so true in um, what you see in your patients and their families and what somebody else is going through. So for me, it feeds my soul.